Well, good morning, everybody. I think I'm a second late here. <laughs> I apologize for that. Uh, good to see everybody this morning, to be with everybody this morning. Uh, give people a couple seconds to come on here. And, uh, but I, you know, <clears throat> you see at the bottom, uh, prayer life tested. And uh, again, I don't think God tests our prayer lives. Uh, we, we might have testings in other things and other situations. But the reason I, uh, came up with that title. I feel like the Holy Spirit uh, uh, gave that to me. Uh, I don't feel like it. I know the Holy Spirit gave it to me because of a situation <laughs> that I actually personally went through this morning. And again, hey, bless you too, uh, Facebook user. I'm trying to figure out who that is. Hey, Trisha, what's going on? Charlie's going on. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, as, when we go through certain situations, trying times, uh, uh, challenges, any of those kind of things, what is the first thing we do? How do we respond to those things? Kind of lets us know where our prayer life is, uh, doesn't it? Uh, you know, and it's kind of, to me, I, I take this as a kind of a testing uh, of our prayer life is when we're facing some some tough times and and uh, uh, what's the first thing we do? Uh, most times we get upset, we get frustrated. Uh, uh, we may even get in arguments or we may get whatever we do, but uh what we should be thinking about is, and again, you'll know where you're at in your prayer life when you're going through these situations. Because if you're going through a tough time, a trying situation, uh, family issues, whatever it is, if the first thing you do is go immediately to prayer, then you know your prayer life's intact. And again, I'm not trying to belittle anybody, I'm trying to encourage you to focus on, on how important it is to pray, even with the littlest thing. Like I said a little bit earlier, uh, I went through a situation this morning uh, that, uh, and again, small situation, but a very frustrating one. And immediately, and again, guys, I got to tell you, I'm not Mr. Perfect here, but immediately I just started talking to God about it. You know, uh, I was getting more and more frustrated, uh, get, had to leave uh, and uh, could not resolve the, the situation at that moment. And, uh, you know, you've heard people say, you know, sometimes you need to just walk away from it for a while and then come back. And, you know, and I've learned that uh, lesson very, very difficultly, you might say. Uh, but this morning, what was happening, I was doing dishes uh, to help my bride out this morning. The, the sink uh, had a few dishes in there. And, and uh, wouldn't you know it, uh, uh, this cup, a plastic cup, goes right down in the garbage disposal. I mean, just slips in that garbage disposal just easy as you please. Fell right down in there. Now, you would think, that if it went in easy, it should come out easy. Well, it did not. And guess what? It's still there. Uh, when I go to the house, I'll have to finish the task. But uh, but I was getting very frustrated. I'm like, how could that go in there so easily and I can't get it out? And now some of you are going to say, well, what's the big deal about that? It, doesn't, it was a frustration. It doesn't matter how little the frustration. If, uh, uh, if I didn't start talking to God about it, I could have been frustrated for the day. Frustrated for the day, things could have gotten larger. Uh, the trials could have gotten larger. And I could have started creating uh, my own trials. But again, you know, I just started talking to God. And I just started talking to the Lord about this thing. And I mean, I mean, I'm talking to him like he's right there. And he is. I, I believe he is. He's with you. Where If you're saved, where you are, he is. And I'm talking to the Lord, I don't understand this. How this cup could go down there so easy and I can't get it out. But, you know, there's a lesson in that. There's a lesson in that. The important thing is I went to God with it. And it might seem something like a simple thing, like a waste of time to some people. But to me, it's important that the Lord keeps me focused. It really is. And, and folks, so that's the challenge today is, is to think about these things, uh, where your prayer life is. You know, I know we, you know, people pray. Some people have a prayer time early in the morning. Some people pray in the evening. Some people pray in the middle of the day. The Word of God says pray unceasingly. Uh, in Titus, and I'm going to read or Thessalonians. I'm going to read that again. Uh, but the point of it is, you kind of know where your prayer life, how it's intact, by when you're going through a situation, what your response to that situation is. Is it, Lord, help me, guide me, teach me through this thing, or man, I can't. Like, I'm going to tear this thing apart. I'm going to whatever. Uh, do we allow it to frustrate us? And sometimes it's the simplest thing that frustrates us the most. But you know what? The Lord wants to hear about it. 
the Lord wants to hear about it. And sometimes we won't pray about the littlest things, folks. Yeah, we might not pray about the uh, the, the bigger things uh, uh, that we're dealing with. But, you know, if you commit it to prayer and you trust God with it and for it, then guess what? He'll teach you something through it. <laughs> okay. Now, again, like I said, I didn't get the glass out of there yet. Uh, but I will have to go home and, uh, and and do this thing. But I guarantee you the task will be simpler now than what it was when I first started tackling it this morning. So don't give up. And don't think that, that, that those little things, those little frustrations aren't as important to God as the big frustration. Talk to him. Talk to him. Do like I did this morning. And, and again, do I do it every time, folks? I, no, I don't. I, I'm, I'm going to be transparent. I don't. But this morning... Uh, I'm getting ready to, to meet our, our prayer group at church, uh, needing to, uh, to to leave, to come to the office. And, you know, my heart, you know, I'm, I'm uh, thinking about, Lord, what is it you want me to bring to tidbits this morning? And, and guess what? A cup gets stuck in the sink. <laughs> and here we are. Prayer, how important it is, even for the little things. So let's go to the Word of God. And I just want to remind you of this thing. And because, again, no matter what situation uh, life hands us, we need to be praying about it. And so chapter 5 of First Thessalonians, it says, Now we exhort you, in verse 14, starting in verse 14, it says, Now we exhort you, brethren, warn those who are unruly, comfort the faint-hearted, uphold the weak, be patient with all. See that no one renders evil for evil to anyone, but always pursue what is good, both for yourselves and for all. Wow. We need to be fervent in our prayer about those things, huh? Because we need to be doing it differently than everybody else. Verse 16, rejoice always. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I wasn't rejoicing right away with that saint business. But verse 17, pray without ceasing. In everything, give thanks. In everything, give thanks. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Wow. Could you imagine if we got to a place in our prayer life that we just thank God for everything? Just everything. You know, I'm thanking him right now for the cup in the sink. Because it brought this message this morning. <laughs> God just does some supernatural, wonderful things, like even letting a cup get caught in a sink for to bring a message. I, I just love how God just does stuff like that. And, uh, you know, some people, think, you, you think God, did? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, some people want to be, you know, I don't want to give the devil all the credit for everything. Yeah, he comes at us in different ways. Uh, yeah, but here's the thing. I could have opened up a place for, for the devil if I'd have got frustrated, angry uh, over the situation. But but I didn't. It was so important to just to talk to God about it. Just have a conversation with him. Nothing fancy, nothing formal. Just, Lord, I don't understand. I don't understand. And then just reminded me how important it is to pray about everything. Pray without ceasing. So, folks, that's the tidbit this morning. Uh, pray without ceasing, pray through everything, and everything, give thanks, everything. Lord, I'm not happy with the way things are going on in this world, but thank you, Lord, that, that, that you have a plan in this thing. Thank you, Lord, that maybe I can even make a difference. Be a testimony through all this stuff. Pray more, complain less. God's got it, folks, and he's got you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We praise you and we bless you. And Father, it is so important to pray. It's so important to come before you to uh, to, to to just chat, to talk. Uh, it doesn't have to be about things in particular necessarily. Uh, Lord, just to spend time with you in your presence. Because, Father, when we do those things, you know, life seems to ease up. It just does. I, I don't have a total answer for it except being in your presence with thanksgiving and praise. But, Father, even a cup getting caught in a sink, even a flat tire, whatever, whatever disrupts, Whatever disrupts us, we need to stop and think it through, and we need to talk to you about it. And you want to hear about it, and you'll give us an answer for it. So, Father, we thank you. It's just like these troubled times. We need to be praying for souls. We need to be praying for the lost. And we need to be thanking you for the results, because your word won't return void. And blessed is the one that carries the good news of the gospel. Wow. Father, there are people maybe watching that don't know you as Lord, and we want them saved. We want them to, to truly, humbly come before you to ask forgiveness, to ask you to be Lord of their life. Speak to hearts. Help us to be better in our prayer life. And, Father, sometimes we need to be tested a little bit to see where our prayer life really is. 
So thank you for this day. This is the day you have, re- you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We praise you. We thank you. We bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, folks. Amen. Good to see everybody. Good morning, Nora. CJ, how you doing there? Sheila, hey. Uh, who am I missing? There's Sharon Bradley. Renee, how you doing, everybody? Good to see everybody. And uh, have a blessed, blessed weekend. Uh, I'll be back Monday morning at 10 a.m. for some more morning tidbits, but also Sunday morning at 10 a.m. We'll be live. If you can, join us here at the Fellowship, Iron Faith Fellowship. But love you guys. Be blessed. Give it to God. And whenever you start going through something, no matter how little it is, talk to the Lord about it. He'll get you through it. Amen. Bye-bye. See you Monday morning for some more morning tidbits.